These are uncharted waters for the white-spotted jellyfish. It's ended up in the Mediterranean Sea after coming all the way from Australia. The arrival of the new species has left scientists worried. They head out to sea each week. Scientist Sonia Gerun first encountered this type of jellyfish in 2012. She knows how it got there. We assume they arrived here on big merchant ships. When ships arrive at this harbor, they exchange their container vessel ballast. That means they release water from other regions of the world into the sea. That introduces fish and jellyfish species that aren't native to the Mediterranean Sea. In the northern city of Bizert, scientists are researching the diets of the new jellyfish species. They pose a danger to the ecosystem because they feed on plankton, which fish also need to survive. To make matters worse, the jellyfish also feed on fish eggs. Close to the capital, Tunis, the scientists and fishermen are trying to catch the offending jellyfish. They hope that will lead to a greater survival rate for the fish. Marine biologist Najib Dali is working with colleagues in Italy, Malta and Spain to find a way to deal with the scourge of jellyfish. He says the options are either to reduce the fish catch or to set up a lab to extract collagen from the jellyfish. On a mis au point aussi un laboratoire qui fait de l'extraction donc de collagène. Jellyfish can be used to produce collagen for commercial cosmetics. The practice is common all over the world and demand is rising. Something Tunisians are hoping to profit from. But the jellyfish are causing big problems for another sector, tourism. Thousands of people holiday on Tunisia's beaches each year. And they don't want to be stung by jellyfish. When we just started, you know, swimming and my son got bitten, as you see, with the jellyfish in his stomach. Yeah, and so it's really, really stressful, really, to be honest with you. Scientists take samples, which they then use to record what jellyfish species they find at each beach. They also set up a series of nets along the beach. The aim is to keep the jellyfish away from swimming areas. But scientists cannot predict whether there will be a further increase in jellyfish. We're concerned about the future. We're already beginning to see the effect of this scourge, and we're wondering whether what we're doing is enough, and whether the ecosystem will find a way of recovering. But that's all written in the stars. The white-spotted jellyfish has survived the long journey from Australia, and has even managed to adapt to the colder water of the Mediterranean Sea.